Okay, so this tip is something that applies to a very small number of scrambles. But let's say we have two cross pieces solved and we can solve these two incorrectly. So this red one and the orange one here, we can solve them incorrectly by just doing one move like that. And also note that when we, if we do a D2 R D2 R prime to solve the cross correctly, then we wouldn't be able to see, or it would be quite difficult to see uh, our first F2L well pair and we wouldn't have a particularly easy case. But let's say if we have this case where if we, solve this, or if we incorrectly solve this one, it brings out this pair into the top, then it may make sense to actually just do the one move, uh, incorrect cross, so solve these two, but these two are incorrect, and, and get this F2L pair. Do the rest of our solve, F2L, uh, OLL, like so, and then we can influence our PLL, but it, it's a little bit like 4x4 four four, uh, PLL parity in that in some cases you'll be able to force yourself a better, a better, slightly better PLL. And even for something like this, this is a really easy case where we have the adjacent, an adjacent edge swap on top. So we can do something like R U R prime U prime to set these two up opposite to one another, then do M2 U2 M2, and then reinsert that pair. But let's say we had something like um, M2 U2 M2, and a T permutation, what we can do is force a slightly better PLL. So instead of instead of doing M2 U2 M2 from this angle and getting an F permutation, we can do a U, then do M2 U2 M2. So solving the cross incorrectly, you'll obviously need to fix it later on in the solve, but you can use that to your advantage slightly. Also make sure that when you do this that you always align two cross pieces and keep track of where the two misaligned cross pieces are and never do it with two adjacent cross edges because that's a, that leads to some awkward cases and trying to swap two adjacent edges and pieces on the top, uh, there, there are no particularly good algorithms for that for two-handed speed solving.